The female reproductive system includes the ovaries, oviducts, uterus, cervix, vagina, and the external genitalia located in the pelvic region. Along with a pair of mammary glands, it supports the process of ovulation, fertilization, pregnancy, childbirth, and child care. Let us study each organ in detail. The female reproductive system includes a pair of ovaries located one on each side of the lower abdomen. They are the primary sex organs as they produce the ovum or the female gamete. Each ovary is about 2 to 4 centimeters in length. They are connected to the pelvic wall and the uterus by ligaments called mesovarium. Each ovary is covered by an outer thin layer called the germinal epithelium. The germinal epithelium encloses the ovarian stroma, which is further divided into the outer cortex and the inner medulla. The cortex consists of many ovarian follicles in different stages of development. The ovarian follicle is the basic unit of the female reproductive system and is composed of roughly spherical aggregations of cells found in the ovary. The accessory ducts of the female reproductive system are the vagina, oviducts, and the uterus. The pair of oviducts or fallopian tubes is about 10 to 12 centimeters long and extends from the periphery of each ovary to the uterus. Each oviduct is differentiated into three parts, namely the infundibulum, ampulla, and isthmus. The infundibulum is a dilated funnel close to the ovary, and its edges are surrounded by finger-like projections called the fimbriae. They help collect and push the ovum into the oviduct after ovulation. The ampulla is the swollen and curved part behind the infundibulum. The fertilization of the ovum takes place in this part. The isthmus is a narrow and straight cavity and it joins the uterus. The uterus is a hollow, pear-shaped muscular organ and is highly distensible. It is situated in the pelvic cavity between the urinary bladder and the rectum. It is also known as the womb. It is supported by ligaments attached to the pelvic wall known as mesometrium. The uterus opens into the vagina through a narrow cervix. The cavity of the cervix is called the cervical canal, which, along with the vagina, forms the birth canal. The wall of the uterus is composed of three layers of tissues. The outer thin membranous layer is called the perimetrium. The middle thick layer of smooth muscle is called the myometrium, and it helps during delivery by producing strong contraction motions. The inner glandular layer is called the endometrium and it undergoes cyclical changes during the menstrual cycle. The vagina is a muscular tube starting from the lower end of the uterus up to the outside. The opening of the vagina in young females is partially covered by a thin membrane called the hymen. The hymen is frequently ruptured in childhood due to strenuous physical exercise. The female external genitalia includes the mons pubis, labia majora, labia minora, and the clitoris. The labia majora consists of fleshy folds of tissue that extends down from the mons pubis and surrounds the vaginal opening.
Hidden under the labia majora is the labia minora. Towards its upper end lies the clitoris, a small finger-like structure, and below it is the urethral opening. The female reproductive system is supported by the mammary glands. The mammary glands or breasts are modified sweat glands that lie over the pectoral muscles. They contain glandular tissues and a variable amount of fat. Internally, each breast is divided into 15 to 20 mammary lobes containing clusters of cells called the alveoli. The alveoli open into the mammary tubules. The tubules of each lobe join to form the mammary duct. Several ducts join to form a wider ampulla, which is connected to the lactiferous duct. The lactiferous duct opens out through the nipple from which milk is sucked out.